And last night we saw how the Force Protection Wing guard Camp Bastion from the inside. But outside the wire they have an area of operations that spans more than 670 kilometres. In this second special report, Ali Gibson has been on patrol with the RAF regiment to see how their work on the ground protects the skies above the joint operating base. With Camp Bastion home to the fifth busiest UK-run airport, this much air traffic needs protection. Being air-minded and infantry trained, the RAF regiments specialise in airbase security, but that doesn't mean staying inside the wire. The resident field squadron camp outside Bastion for days at a time, holding the ground under the flight line to keep the airbridge safe. The role here that allows to do is very important so that anybody coming in or out of Camp Bastion on R&R &R or else coming in or, any, um, or else getting medivaced out is um, safe within the AO. Um, we also go depth as well for any of the larger aircraft and uh, make sure it doesn't get fired at as well from any um, from obviously the um, higher ground from the mountainous regions within Afghanistan. When Camp Bastion was built, its flat location was chosen for aircraft to land and because it was far away from population centres. Now though, villages and service stops have sprung up to support those working on the base and commuting along Highway 1. That means foot patrols for the RAF regiment to reassure and protect those who live here and to prevent the insurgents from trying to operate close to Camp Bastion. We go on a patrol into Shorab, a truck stop where those who deliver supplies into Bastion can stop over for food or somewhere to rest. But the Afghans here are nervous. This local man tells us that suspicious men have been seen moving through the area with weapons. How important is the information that you get on patrols like this? It's absolutely key. Obviously, you do get a lot of information where I'd say 70% of it is false to try and get you to go to these places. But even one out of ten, if you get that one time, you go and get that credible information, it then flows out and could be an insurgent network or anybody that is in this area and has a threat to the airbase, which is one of our key roles is to defend the airbase from outside the wire. Sea flight move on to follow up that information, but on the way to our next destination east of Camp Bastion, the lead vehicle in our convoy is fired at. The team is shaken up but determined to investigate. We've now just arrived at the village of Sheikhabad to find out a little bit more about the information we just gained in Shorab. This village is generally pro-ISAF, it's built up out of the economy of Camp Bastion, but regular patrols here ensure that the insurgents don't move in and that the local people feel safe. But the locals here have been threatened by a man who was collecting information for the Taliban. He's now left the village and Seaflight want to search his old compound. The elder here is away at a funeral, but another local agrees to let them in. What they find confirms their suspicions and the intelligence we've just gained. There's just a lot of uh, paraphernalia that could be associated to sort of IED making, wires, uh, palm olive containers, just, you know, everything that just start ringing alarm bells in your head. Uh, I can't say whether there was anything in there as well. Uh, I wouldn't really want to walk in there much more without like a specialist search team going in there, just because obviously we're just a dismount uh, patrol at the moment. So um, yeah, it's one to uh, follow up later on. Why the owner of this compound has moved on is uncertain, but the trust these villagers have in ISAF is important. I think they're important to locals around. I mean, um, hopefully they're more likely to tell you kind of uh, correct information, basically, and uh, they can get the upper hand on any future uh, insurgent activities. And until they're no longer needed, the RAF regiment will keep patrolling to protect the locals here and to keep the skies above the largest British base in theatre safe. Ali Gibson, Forces News, outside Camp Bastion.